Hello friends. So for today's video, we're gonna talk about this new uh, app screenshot generator. And it's literally called App Store Screenshot. Um, if I could move this up, but um, so if I drag this down, it's called App Store Screenshot. So my problem was that Apple had all these screenshot specifications. If you see here, they're freaking annoying. And uh, prior to you knowing all about that, I already made some screenshots. If and I'll link the video to how I made my screenshots for Google Play. Now I thought the same thing would work. No, it did not. So, for example, I had these nice looking screenshots that I made with Canva, and look how nice that is. Um, and I tried uploading them, and Apple Store was like, "Nah, -uh, we're not gonna do that for you." So I had to do something new. So to give you a little example, if I put that in there, it'll say that dimensions are wrong and learn more, which is super annoying. So I started out to go Google out and look for more information. And one of them, there were actually two really good options that were free. And App Store Screenshot was one of them. The other one was called ShotBot. And let me try that one down there. And it's also pretty good. And I'm gonna probably gonna cover it in another video. But uh, App Store Screenshot is excellent. It's what I ended up using. And to give you a little bit of a demo of what to do, um, if you just go to their website, appstorescreenshot.com, um, and then you would click on one of these, you could actually flip through the devices. I don't know if I have this cached or something because it definitely did not look like that. Oop, I don't want to go to that app. App Store Screenshot Generator. <laughs> So, okay, never mind. It does look like that. So, anyways, you would be f taken to this page and you could pretty much pick the device that you're going to work with. I am pretty much going to do iPhone and iPads for now. And I'm not going to go through the entire thing in this video without taking too long. But, anyways, I just want to go through the gist of it. What I did is you could add a gradient. And you can change the color to something that you really like. Let's say that. And you can change that to another color to give it some really cool spacey look. So, and then you go click the text to edit it. Editing this text to draw yourself a story. And what else do I want to go through? So you could change the device with these devices. So right now, I think we're on the iPad look. Yeah, we're definitely on the iPad look. I'm gonna do the iPhone look. So that's how it looks on the iPhone. And you could change your fonts, of course, and you could change the color of your fonts. Let's keep it white. You could go to the layout and kind of determine where you wanna put the text. If there's no text, the text is on the bottom, and the text is on the top. We're gonna keep the text on the top. And what's cool about this is you could add as many screens that you want. So you could just keep adding screens. And I could select what I like uh, a PNG and just plop that in there and boom, you got you got a nice looking screenshot. Now how did I get this screenshot? Well you just open up your actually if you're a developer and you're using simulator, then you could just go to simulator and go to like file and do I have simulator open? No I don't. But uh, you could go to simulator and just make a new screenshot from there and it'll just pretty much do a screen capture of your of your app in the simulator and that's where I got my PNGs. But anyways, that's pretty much all I want to go through. Um, if I go to here, you can see that this is the this is the apps, this is the, the screenshots that I made. And then once you got that done, you go to preview to see how it looks. And just wait for it to load, which might take a while. So after it loads, you would get this preview of how it'll look like, and then you just go up there, click download. Once you download it, you it will come up as a zip, and you would un unpick the zip. So I just moved my zip to this um, this my Dropbox folder, and I renamed all the screenshots. Um, here's a catch. 
So if you go back to the app, so these are all the, the screenshots that they downloaded for me. And if you load the screenshot into here, it will not work. Just watch. It says that images can't contain alpha channels or transparencies. Which, if you're like me, you're like, what the hell does that mean? You're, you're speaking another language to me. You're speaking alien talk. But what I want you to do then is to open this up if you're on Mac. I don't know what, you, what you're going to do if you're on a Windows. You're going to open this up in preview. So let me minimize that. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to on the top. Oh, man. Um, on your top bar, go to preview and go to export. You can't see my top bar because I'm only screenshotting, screen capturing a part of my, part of my, part of my, my screen. But you're gonna go to preview, file, export, and then you're gonna export it. I export it to my desktop um, as that. And you unclick the alpha. That's what you need to do. And click save. And then let's close this up. Let's close that up too. Um, what you would do is you can go choose a file, go to your desktop, and this is the one that we exported. Export that there, and you'll get your screenshot uploaded. So, boom. Now you have it uploaded on your on your on your screenshot uh, section for your app store connect so that's all i want to go through this longer video than i expected but um anyways i hope that helped app store connect it's a really nice really nice um app and it's completely free which i really like because i'm a cheap ass but anyways um if you like this video please rate comment subscribe if you have any other um any other places where you can do the same of exporting really nice app screenshots then do share i'd really like to know um you can follow me on twitter or instagram or linkedin uh, for twitter and instagram uh twitter and linkedin it's donaldly50 and that's d-o-n-a-l-d-l-e-5-0 and on instagram it's donaldly50 d-o-n-l-e-5-0 it'll be linked in the description below anyways i'll see you guys later and i hope you enjoyed this video and have a great